right. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Paper Mario. I almost said Super Mario. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Remake, which came out a few days ago. I've heard some good things about it. So let's hope it's actually good. Um, I haven't seen anything yet. Wait, music might be a bit loud. Shut up. Um, yeah, might be uh, there might be some new stuff from what I've heard. I don't know what the new stuff is. Essentially, we're going in completely blind. I do know, I do know my way through the main game quite a lot though. But that's it. Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Please do. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far off land, a big bustling th town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. That definitely looks different. But one day, tragedy befell this something. I couldn't read that. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, oh no, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Oh, maybe that's why I don't remember it. That, that doesn't look like rogue port. Ah. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at this spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Nice. Yes, this is where it begins. In the sea, something, something. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Roll credits. There we go, that's the intro. Oh, that's a beautiful transition. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. Hey, Princess Peach. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. Ugh, it's so stifling. Once in a while, I like to change, uh, I like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But, now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very, um, distinct taste, I think it said. Oh, Missy, Missy. Yeah. Would you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? Yeah. This box hold a, holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magical lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as oh, oh, so sorry. If one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on. Hold it. Don't do it, Peach. Don't do it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh! oh! That's not good. That can't be good. Oh, really? I just started, dude. Get out. Hang on. We are live on Twitch, by the way. Uh, mail call! Yo, power carry, my bro. Luigi! Oh, we still need paper Luigi. Come on, give us that. Give us what the fans want. Nobody cares about Mario. Oh, look at that picture of Super Mario 64! Yay! So they rehashed it, but they didn't rehash Super Mario 64, which hurts me. 
Hey, yeah, bro, check it out. A letter from my Princess Peach. I should probably not do an Italian accent the entire game. Has that arrived for you? I do love Luigi's. Ah, that's very cute, though. I'll just read it to you how that sound. Ahem. Now, let's see. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling to the mushroom in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into the possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. That looks so much nicer than the original. I was really skeptical at first when they announced it. I'm like, of course they do the Thousand Year Door, the game that literally nobody cares about because everybody loves 64 more, right? Unfortunately, that's not true. Everybody loves the Thousand Year Door. I like it too, but I, I still think that the original is better. Hey, that's me. What do you know? It is the true. There is a withered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hmm. Oh yeah, that looks familiar. And that's all we see from Luigi. <laughs> there it is. Title card. Very nice. Yeah, I think so. So I'm pretty much sure that we got the same old game. Usually the Nintendo remakes or remasters are very lazy, aren't they? But yeah, I've heard about some new content, so I'm going to be very hyped to see about that. Prologue, a rogue's welcome. Alright, there we go. Chapter Zero. Excuse me, sir. I'm guessing maybe there's some like some post-game stuff that they added, but there's nothing in the main game. Maybe like an area or two. Please wake up, sir. The town you'll be speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> you see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. I do like the, so far, the newly upgraded soundtrack. Like, I recognize some of these songs, but they sound different enough. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? Sure enough. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Huh, is that so? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you'd be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn ya. I won't. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's actually the same Mario. Oh, the same Mario voice. Ow! That actually looks really nice. Okay, what do we got? Uh, no, wait. Sound gallery? What is that? Oh, just music, I guess. Traditional Nintendo options. There's no options, basically. Like, no uh, no sound sliders. Oi! Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming, yeah? You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Of course, the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Alright, good talk, sir. What you want, pal? Huh? 
A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No! I'd remember a princess, probably. What do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! There she is. Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walk around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to your creeps. Ew! Ugh. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, don't crumb. We're on it. N no! Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Oh, boy. Yikes, looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with that other people's problem in this town, even if I had an extra life. Yeah, let's... Can we just get out? Oh, nope. I could go anywhere with that smelly loser like you. <laughs> not likely. I love Mario's face. He's so like, oh. oh. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crumb bomb Alright, here's our first battle. We already took a point of damage. Yeah, so like I said before, uh, it's not my favorite game in the series because of nostalgia. But... Like, the best part about this game is just this stage system. I love it. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the deed. I'm gonna get annoyed by that voice because my voice is already hurting, so... I should probably just swap to a normal voice. Sorry. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Alright, let's jump on him. Get him. Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Got him. Alright, let's hammer his face. Lord Crump. Two, very nice. You got him on the, on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nine star points. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! That's what these little things are. Star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get a hundred of them, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Uh-oh. Punish him! Now, that's a lot of dudes. Sorry for the yawning, by the way. I'm very tired. Like I always am. Phew! What a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Oh, that sound of the hammer is so cute. It's so unimpressive, but it's so cute. <clears throat> Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Ugh, crud. They bolted. Yes, yeah, saw ya. 
Wow, mister! You totally saved me! Thanks! Bang on my phone just buzzed. What is it? I'm busy. No, nothing important. I have just got to give you a little reward. Mwah. My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Is there like only one Mario in the world? I guess so. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Ooh. <laughs> Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if they're wearing some legendary treasure here. Oh! What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, bucko! What do you got there? Oh my gosh! It's, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? Great Googly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Mm -hmm. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye of her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest uh, there will fill up all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. <laughs> I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always get nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined the party. Yay. Nice. Goombella's ability, a primer. Ugh. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Gobella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Me, to be fair, I will complain about that too. This is Roquebot Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes his little primer. Do you think you've mastered Gumbel's ability? Yes. 
Of course, Kumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Nice. We'll be using that extensively. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forget to mention, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. It'll be my cue to share any info I know which might help us figure out what to do next. Yeah, so that's basically just a reminder on uh, what to do. Turf war between the Pinata Syndicate and the Robo is heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. You smell that? It smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Well, that's any of your business. All right. Um. Hey, were you? That's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. Ah, <laughs> dang. Yesterday, I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Uh huh? <sighs> Tell me all about that. Anything in here? Oh! One coin. Shut up! Isn't there like a shine sprite up here? Listen, this is a huge secret. Oh god, I'm so sorry. But I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief. A thief. I was a thief in our town up until three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down, and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, I'm lying low in this thieves den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, I've got one damage. I'm gonna fight this guy. Uh, if I can, I think I can. I think I've seen people, plenty of people, killing him. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our bets will soothe your soul. Care to rest? It's five coins. Yeah, please. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Wait, did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out of there and face the world. See you again. Now, can you beat him without items? Probably not. Got a hundred bucks, so... Can I put him to sleep? Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time? I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one point shop, one shop point for each item they purchase, up to max of 300. You with me so far? Save up enough shop points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. You find a list of prizes posted in any shops, so be sure to check. It's a pretty simple promotion, you wouldn't say, fella. Need me to explain again? No. Now, with that said... Five coins. I will get it. I'll get another one. No. I hope this sleepy sheep works. I don't think I've ever used one. I actually, I think he's got 20 HP, doesn't he? Yeah, and, he, and he's gonna do like tons of damage. It's like one of those bosses you're not, not supposed to fight just yet. Uh, he's not there.
Oh, is he in the next area? Yeah, oh, that's where he is. Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! This guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable, some people are so rude. Ugh. So what happens here if you don't have any money? Is there like a special cutscene? You somehow blow all your money in the shop? Should try that next time. He's in the house, right? Yeah. Yeep! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're a pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Thank you. That's a bandit was made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loves this place, but I would... Uh, but would it kill him to clean up a bit? Probably. Now, let's see what this guy brings. Can we actually take him out? Probably not. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of the Ishnil, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You're trying to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip your butt good. I can take you. What? You're gonna be kidding. You think you can, uh, you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Alright. First proper battle. No spectators. That should be a tenth, right? That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. His HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Oh, and all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 3 of 65 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Uh. Hi. Oh, I was distracted. Not fair. Uh, okay, so you can't do anything. Is there a way you can actually put your spear down? Should have gotten items. Three turns. Now, I still don't think I can actually hit you. Two turns. Come on. Uh, Goombells, are you uh, willing to try? I'm gonna regret this. Yeah. Well, I guess I now have a healer. What about flowers? But there should be no problem whatsoever. Especially with that guard thing. Just gonna uh, take a while. Ah! Huh, that hurt? You have no chance of beating me, trust me. See you better to run. Yeah. If you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. No thanks. 
Oh, I'm one turn short. There we go. Dodged it. Got it. I really thought we could just jump at you at one point. Anyway, that's game. Got it. 31 star points. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Saw you. Get, 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 got him. Yeah, I'll stay. Appreciate it. Now it's my third day already, because I've slept twice. Peach will love that, me just sleeping all over the place. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out in the world. Thanks, darling. Oh, there's a bad shop up here. Is that open? No, 11 a.m. Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose my contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Oh! Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it, my poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Did your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Ah, uh, this is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Alright, bye. Good luck with it, Mrs. Grumpy. Oh, I can't skip the text. Oh. That's actually the worst. Can we really not? No, there's two settings? Oof. I hate it when they do that. This is East Rogueport. This is the turf of the Ishnil and this crew of Robos. The east side's all run down, so you can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. <clears throat> if you're down here, you're darn well better have a com compelling reason to be here. Okay, right, that's locked. Alright, never mind. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes. You. Now, uh, you, uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Goomreel. Uh, it's not Elisa Goom. Uh. <laughs> ah! Ah, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And the guy behind you is... Who? 
Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't had a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand bring, uh, brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure set to be below Rogueport. I thought if, if anybody knew anything about it, you would, Professor Franklin. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truths. For truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the tre legendary treasure truly does exist. And I really want to find it. Fieldarth doesn't want the treasure. Ah, too bad. We're going to find it. What's up, Fieldarth? Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should try... We, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that's all it, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The... Stones of yesterday? Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck. It seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that. But we do have a professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? <laughs> really? You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Yo, Magnus. Astounding, this is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we gonna, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go, this instant I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Yeah, let's go. This game is going to hurt my voice because I haven't done a talking very much stream in a long time. Uh, you woke up at a good time today being happy. Oh, that's nice. You have a long day ahead of me and then you randomly got super sleepy and fell asleep for three hours. Oh. And now you woke up upset for wasting three hours of your day. Aye, aye, aye. And now spent one hour being upset about it. Uh, what do you do? Um... Well, I could say, don't be upset about it, but I'm sure that's not going to work, right? I don't know, I guess just accept that it happened and move on. Try and get up earlier or not fall asleep tomorrow. That's the only thing I can uh, think of. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you, would you like to practice your action command? Nope. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? Nope. 
A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. When guarding, press A in time with your opponent's attacks. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right, now down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A. Uh, yeah, I'm Mario. I know how to work a pipe. Actually. Yeah, that could work too. Now, isn't it just right here? No, this is the town, right? Yeah, the block town. Hey. Ah ha Welcome, Mario. I am Mer Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, shall I see something for you? No. These graphics look like a YouTube animation skit about Mario? Uh, I don't know. It's just the art style, I guess. Don't know, uh, don't know what to tell you. Yeah, this is the uh, HD remaster that just came out. Wait, it's a remaster, right? Wasn't it more wide and less color? Uh, I think so. Well, the box doesn't say HD, but I guess this is just HD as in how Wind Waker HD is on the Wii U. I guess, I guess that comes close to it. Hey, hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical. You service level snobs are so stuck up. Oh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're going to teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Found two academics and a world famous hero wandering the sewers of a poor town in peace. Is this your usual greetings to visitors? Uh, then, you uh, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Got him. Ouch, that was cold. What? You're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewers. Nobody does a start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. All right, time for murder. <laughs> Cannot flee this fight. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fella in the middle, Spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take the damage. The Paragoom is airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get him. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order. Yeah, I know. I know. Nice. That's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. Aww. No standout features to note. Aw, that's totally rude. Maximum HP 2, attack power 1, and the defense is 0. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Aw. Poor guys. Perfect. That's kind of cruel, to be honest. This is a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. Maximum HP 2, attack 2, defense 0. Guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the other Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Oh, actually, try to jump. Let's not do that.
That's a paraguma. Basically a guma with wings. I'm jealous. Two one zero. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. I don't know, I guess so. Yo, 10, let's go. Let's -a go. Owie! Thanks for the dollars. Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have all. Uh, they'll have, and they they'll all have it in it for. Jeez. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Got it. It was 20 degrees at the coldest in the middle of the night recently. Oh wait, 20 degrees? That, that was how warm it was last night? Yikes. Midnight sun. Oh, is it the midnight sun thing? Isn't that a twilight book? Or something? There's something to do with twilight. Yay, you're in gaming. Welcome to the stream. Hey Mario, I know, right? I've been dying to play this. It's been on my radar ever since it got announced. Which was like, I don't know, a year ago? I don't know, a question for the chat. Or maybe the YouTube audience. When did this get announced? No, it wasn't a year ago. There's no way. You gotta get your bike from the repair shop. Oh, is it broken again? No. Don't break your bike, sir. Yeah, be back soon. See you later. Got him. It doesn't get cold. The sun doesn't leave. That sounds completely horrible. I think I would lose my mind if the sun didn't set. My simple brain cannot... Uh, cannot deal with that. Simple human brain. Well, I mean, I recommend curtains like basically always. Like uh, my house right now, the bedroom is not really designed for proper sleeping because we still haven't had our blinds up. And we've been living here for like over half a year. So, when I take a daytime nap, which happens more and more often, um, it's just kind of light in the room, which is really annoying. But, on the other hand, I don't really do anything to fix that problem. But, it works. Uh, you live in a basement apartment, though? Um, what's a basement apartment? Is that literally just underground? But, but do you have, like, one of those windows just on, on like, the, the ground level? Like, on the outside, it's just, like, in the grass or whatever? Or you just live on the first, like, on the, on the ground floor? Do you... Is it not actually in the basement, though? Like, uh, underground, I would say. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. I, I imagine it being a lot cooler down there than it will be, like, upstairs. Like, in the height of summer. Not quite his bunker. <laughs> Fair. That's a spinny. A totally weird creature made of thin paper, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP 310. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee -yah! 
Uh, I lived on, in my apartment, I lived on the second floor, which was the highest part of the building. It had a flat roof, so in the summer it was like, ugh, completely ridiculously warm. And the sun was actually on the back side of our apartment, where our bedroom was. And my streaming chambers was were on that those sides. So just in the summer, it was like impossible to be in that room. It's already heating up here, so I'm uh, I'm thinking in the summer it's not going to get much better here. But at least now I've got my window on the not sun side. The sun is always there, and then the sun goes there that way, and only in like the late afternoon, like six o'clock, then the sun slowly starts appearing there. That's really nice. Are oh, you moving out? Oh, have you found something? Or, uh, or are they kicking you out? I hope not. Outside the town. Ooh, why, why are you moving if you don't mind me asking? Oh, in the hill? Oh, what, like a hobbit hall? That's cool. Ah, boo. This is gonna hurt. Big windows and good view, yo. I mean, the view is always really nice. I always say, if you don't have a view, why live there, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. If you uh, if you live there, you gotta send me a picture of your view. I'm like a, a professional view raider, so I'll uh, I'll ranker raider. I'll rate your view. Oh, you're outside of a fjord? Let's go. That's an automatic increase in points. And I haven't even seen it yet. You got a black key! Nice. Oh, right, right, right. Well, it's so cool, though. Hey, is anybody here rich? I don't think so. Hey you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Oh. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else, nothing. Say, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Hiltar's mega rich. I mean, you do have a Dragonite card, that is true. Nobody can compete with that. Uh, Mario, uh, we're with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this, uh, chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said that out loud, what's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Looking for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this chest. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Definitely open it. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in the box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. All right, let's open up. I'm sure this definitely won't go wrong. And then you wake up, yeah. <laughs> Same. Yes, thanks. Haha, <laughs> thank nothing. <laughs> Fools. Uh oh. Oh boy, did you fall for it? For did you fall for it? I burn you. What do you think? Was I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah. Sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Evil. 
Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed. Uh oh. <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what it, you got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain area, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. But I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah. Okay, you're on the panel. Now, try pressing Y. And then, bam, you're in paper airplane. You control your tiny paper plane self by tilting the left stick forwards. The plane will rise if you tilt. Okay, yeah. Got it. However, if you keep tilting L too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Got it. Once you start to rise, stop tilting L. Timing is the key. Try it now. Uh huh? Uh huh? Got it. I got it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B to deplane and get back to normal. So, be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yep. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee -hee -hee. Nice curse, loser. So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Yeah, I don't know. I would be salty too if I was stuck in a box, to be honest. What's the richest you've ever been in a dream field, Arth? Like, how filthily rich are we talking? Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that! Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real! So, the legends. Oh, my chair just went down. Great. Ah! It does that randomly for some reason. So the legends are true. Come, let's move closer. I mean, that's a pretty gorgeous door. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? Huh? Well, I guess we found number one. Cool map. The location of a crystal star is being recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Tree. Nice. I mean, sweet. Professor, the map. And what was with all those strange lights? Huh. This looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Ah, so much talking, it's hurting my voice. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh, I see.
You understand it, Professor? Oh, of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding. Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes. The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come to me from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? Uh, I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to uh, Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipes travel is efficient. Uh, pipes? Pipe? Pipe travel is efficient. There we go. First try. Sa say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach. Really? Her Highness said this to you, Mario. This, uh, Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Huh. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows with you to go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt the shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it's, uh, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No. I've already done it. This is very important. No. Huh. You're absolutely sure? Well, alright. Just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Nice reference. Yo, power smash. Let's go. Uh, you've started playing Pokemon Poke MMO. It's the same original games except online players walking everywhere. How how would that work? Like, aren't, isn't everybody in everybody's square all the time? It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. Like, the idea sounds really cool, though. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you get much more powerful. What's important is knowing that the effects will be uh, when you first equip the badge. July, no. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. No. Oh, they don't. Oh, that's better. Now, is this stuff like trainers everywhere or, or what? And gyms? Like, what's the point? Just catching Pokemon, I guess? I see. Then just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need Flower Points FP to use the Power Smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get that? Yes. Alright, bye. Two points remaining. Hey, you're new. Hey, that kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like, to fight with your whole heart? I can see you're brimming with the potential, kid, but there's a heap of old stuff that you don't know about. Stylish moves. Oh, I know that. 
Uh, who am I? There's someone calling me the Battle Master. And I don't stop him, but I could with fighting. Anywho, uh, I got a great life traveling, training, uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. Sure. Bye. Uh, it's the same routes and James's Pokemon in, as real games. We can trade. Oh, that's good. It's kind of cool. Should maybe look into that then. <clears throat> yeah, shut up. I hate you can't click through the text. Oh, dang it. I tried not to hit you when I jumped down. Yo, we got an audience member. Sweet, we got a Goomba. Oh, no. Oh, I know what's coming up. I think we got a. I think we got a heal. Oh, I guess we got a mushroom. I think I'd rather just heal. For the end. Oh, we got a. We got one HP. Um. Would we be fine? Potentially. Oh well. Challenge accepted. Bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Uh oh. Our first boss battle. Let's go. Oh, we got like five people. Blah, 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 blah. Which is up and whack someone toss two seats like that. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's true. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloopity bloop bloop. Oh, he's in the world of hurt. Oh boy. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. Oh yeah. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Ooh. Yeah. That's alright. That's a blooper and really super humongous one too. Ew! It's all slimy. It just totally can't stand slimy nasty ickle things. Gross! Max HP is 12, attack 1, defense 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it falls down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy nasty blooper. Got it. Bloop! Hey, mustache! You're, you're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it! Yeah. Uh, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're, dar you're darn blooping. <laughs> hey, see you later, field. I appreciate the lurk. Nice. Bring me some chicken nuggets while you're at it. Got him. cute though look at him uh 
Oh, uh, we got poison mushroom bingo. Yo, that's a good defend. We haven't taken a single hit yet. Sick. And we got him. Yo, clear bonus? What is that? That's new. Is that more, more, more money? Ah, bloop! Got him. Woohoo! She just told me not to fall in the water, and the one who falls in the water is her. That's kind of funny. Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. Alright. Let's go. Woo! <clears throat> Well, here we are. The Petal Meadows, where folks say your crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Oh, free mushrooms. Sick. Oh, and a star piece. Let's go. Oh, sorry, Goombella. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh, look at Mario looking up. Oh, that's so cute. Does this happen in the in the original? I don't remember that. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go, again. This rock kind of reminds me of a pipe. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, bad guy. That shit level is up. We've got like 10 people in the audience. Let's go. Du -du -du -du. Bow. Level up! That gets the crowds in. Now, we've only got one badge. I'm sure we're gonna find more really soon, like Power Jump. So the one that we really want is HP. We really don't need the rest. As of now. Speaking of, here's one. Dang it. Hey, Luigi! It's my bro! I love it when Luigi's in the crowd. My favorite moment in the game. Hey, he's there again! I'm sure he's not coming out just for that three seconds that a battle lasted. 
They probably buy like a package deal, like you can watch like five battles or something, and then you gotta go and pay again. I'm betting it's something like that. <laughs> ah, we can't get there yet. We're really close, though. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. Yeah, I know you told me. Do I look like a neat one? No. That's right. Hey, Luigi, where are you? You paid for five battles. Come on. Yo, seven points. Let's go. A pretty good progress. Hmm. Okay, how... How do we do this? Oh, wait, no, no. How do you do this? Yeah, I gotta hit something with my hammer. Oh, there we go. First try. Yo, sick. Something over there? Oh yeah, there is. Let's go. A lovely piece of a star. Just what I like to see. Oh, a mystery. Oh, cool. And a fire flower. Petalburg! Is there a town in uh, Gen 3 of Pokemon, Petalburg City? Welcome, travelers! Oh! Huh. Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had a visitor here. Yippity! Once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. You could just stop visiting. Dragon? Hook tail? Oh, that must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name! Pfft. By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. No, I can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He is old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, uh, well, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up, uh, up ahead. A pink house sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Gee, Goombella. You're really nasty, aren't you? 
up in the morning to ya? Tis I, Bubble... Bubble Burr. I'm as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He is really cute. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, Mario. Oh. Oh, Hooktail. She lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock. In Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasures hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but no one has returned. So, uh, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Oh, yeah, totally. Yo, sad bob Aww. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is one-of-a-kind collectible. Oh, that is adorable. This guy's apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get alive, know what I mean? No, don't be so mean. Hey Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush Peach dolls too. Uh, no comment. No comment. Oh, that's, that's really cute. Look at those pigs, they, they are adorable. Do, 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 do. Huh, I'm General White, I'm a boom, and I've lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Alright, bye. Wait, hang on. Oh. No. No, he wasn't tricking me. Yo, who are you again? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur de la moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, mon petit chou. Do you hear a beautiful abandon this dollar to come away with me? Ew, are you kidding? Ew! Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a high bozo to chump. Oh, je suis blessé. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> he is blessed. Yeah. Completely forgot about that guy. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air. Absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, she made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Woohoo! Yo, old timer. Oh, look at those pictures. Oh, that's so cute. Huh? What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Cooper. Despicable. No, 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 no. Go on, do what you will. But as you can completely see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Aww. Aww. Can't do without those memories. Aww. That's something that wasn't there in the OG. Aww. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? You looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you... Egypt? What is that? I don't know. We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Um, wait. What did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Uh, yeah. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snacking of all of us pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off, the rough to, uh, off to rough her up? You got it! Oh ho! Sounds promising! Why, if you can get rid of us Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards! Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I didn't say that! <laughs> what an unselfish man! You're noble indeed! Yup, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? 
Uh, Murphy. <laughs> That's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. Name's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now, listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, find a secret pipe that's located somewhere in Pedal Meadows. I know you need the Sunstone and the Moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwonk Fortress. Just past the village. Get him first. Oh, yeah. Well then, Murphy. Get going and really wob that Hooktail monster. You got it. You got it. All right. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, that overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're gonna challenge that monstrous hook tail. Ooh, if only Koops was as brave as you. Aw, oh, poor Koops. Justice for Koops, come on. Nice house, it's got literally nothing. What did you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail Castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. She eats people. Often. Um, it's really none of my business, but... It's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. Alright, thanks, mate. I hear this is a scary kind of monster that lives near town. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, and that's no Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. What can I do if one attacks me? I wonder if the shop has a way for me to throw money at the problem. Ah. Oh, hey. Hey, kiddo. You need something from the old battle master? Uh, nah. Gotcha. Give me some time to figure out a few new secrets and come back whenever. You got it, fam. Hey, since you're here, let me ask. How many people do you think are Hooktail's gobbled? Old time, I mean. I heard she recently launched an old man's coup two villages over. And Coops will live next door. His father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. Well, rip. <laughs> you guys reckon I should get some more sleep? Every time I start streaming, I just fall asleep, basically. Good to her to get some more sleep. Woo! Hey, did you have to pick up any power blocks on your way here? If not, you'll notice that they've got them for sale right here. Hint, hint. Lucky for you they just stopped by, unless you enjoy getting clobbered uh, to denim clad smithereens, that is. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what I need. I guess I'll take uh, three or four. Three? Get three. So I feel that I have to fish. I hope it was good. Some stone monsters live at Schwank Fortress up ahead, or so we fear. This gate is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was uh, panicking. Uh, how to begin? Uh, m m my, my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. 
I uh, I have a favor to ask. Um. Oh, just just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think is going on inside that guy's shell? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you will we'll head out without him. Hey, Starpies, let's go. Okay, so take note, hit every single bush. Got him. Oh, a Koopa bro. That's the Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longativity. His HP is 4, his attack is 2, defense is 1. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to 0. And you know how to flip them over, right? Yep, jumps and power blocks. So get in there and get stomping. Yo, bingo. Yeah. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. And we're already a quarter of the way to the next level. Very nice. Uh oh. That can't be good. Ah, oh, boo. <laughs> Cannot flee? Really? Why not? Mario, look at your audience! That guy's got a rock! There's no way he ain't, isn't gonna throw that at you. You get hurt if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws that rock! Got him. Nice! Later, you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject any audience member who looks like they're holding things. Oh, but there might be actual... Be, bleh, there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Got it. Okay, Mario. Now try attacking with your hammer. Dude, I just killed one of these. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sometimes your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse. It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things can happen while we're up here, so stay alert and try to come out on top. Got him. Money. Ooh, oh.
Oh, flower. And a power block. Let's go. Oh, here they are. The Schwank Fortress. Nope, it just won't open. I wonder what we should do. This almost looks like some kind of statue. What if you give it a good whack with your hammer? Uh-oh. You and your big mouth. This is a bald cleft. Basically, a rock monster with a sharp, craggy face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Two on two. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to, tra to attack it with, say, a power block. Huh, we just found one. What are the odds of that? Yo, 10? Let's go. Those are basically 10 free points. Sick. Did it, 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 Oh, two of the buggers. <laughs> oh yeah. Three of them? I mean, it's no problem at all. Just surprised there's so many. Yeah! Da -da -da -da. block guess what that means yeah My actual swamps nope it won't budge an inch maybe it works the same here as it did in the last room uh oh oh they hurt me didn't they I pressed the hammer come on guy Oh, they're not schwangs, they're bristles, right? That's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They are so prickly. Max HP 2, attack 1, and defense is 4. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough uh, to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Oh, that makes sense. 
Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Alright. One power box, please. Hey, where is my money? Oh, I almost dropped my phone. Big oops. Sorry if that was really loud, it probably was. But to be fair, it probably scared me more than you. What? I pressed it! Oh boy. I pressed it though. Almost leveling up. Fire flower. Oh, what's this? Oh, an in coupon. Oh, cool. No, no, wrong target. Rip. It's fine. Oh, wrong target again. Seven star points. We'll full heal for five coins. Ah, uh, we don't need that. Appreciate the effort, though. Oh, it's Mr. Quiz Guy. Hey, Quiz Guy. Oh. <laughs> Hoo -ha. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstones. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so what do you want to do? I'll take you on. <laughs> You're in it for now. Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome everybody to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win, but get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now, for the first question, what is hidden in the Schwank Fortress? Uh, the Son of Moonstones. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yeah. Got it. Arr, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourselves. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost at the shop in Pedalberg? Well, the mushroom is four. Fire's five? No. Three? Or six, it's gonna be six. Oh, 
it was a, wasn't it? Uh. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Koopa Koot. He's the one from Paper Mario 64, right? Uh, Birdle? Or Croup? Croup. Yeah, I paid attention. Ah, that's correct. The question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourselves. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Oaktail Castle. Got it. No, oh, that's correct. The question was too easy. Okay, final question. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Roadport to Pedal Meadows? Rope pipe. No, right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Oh, wait. There's not five? Oh. Which of the following characters can be found in Pedalburg? Koopa... Uh... uh Koopa Troopas. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! No! That's that's right! You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Oh yeah. So very angry, I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules. Yeah, boy. Ugh. Thanks, mate. Come again. Rich Monk Fortress. My shoes are totally soaked through now. Just great. Plus, it's dark and confining, and it smells totally bad. This place is not cool, Mario. Yeah, sorry. Multi-bounds, though. Pretty big. Oh, fuzzies. Got him. Let's level up while we're down here. Again. Oh yeah, with three, that'll definitely work out. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on this on the caffeine. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own, isn't that the worst? I mean, ew! Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, sounds like you need to use the guard action command when they release you. Timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck, HP. Alright. Ah, just too late.
Ah. I want to free it. Oh, they're angry. There's a fire flower. Oof, one off. One off. Yo, Sunstone. Uh, knew it. Did it, did it, did it. Four? Oh, I wasted my item. I've got another one. Sick. That's some value. So I think if we level up, the uh, their XP goes down by one. I think. Got it. Let's get badges. Oh, then a fire flower. Let's go. I'm going to definitely use that. No, 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 no. I didn't press A. My bad. Wanna see me do it again? I will. Yeah, they dropped by one. Got him. And we're like a fifth of the way already there. Nice. We could definitely level up like at least twice in uh, in Hooktail's castle, including boss fight.
No, 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 no. Blar. Let's go, twelve points. Oh, I forgot about you. Meowk! Hey, you suspicious types! This is our place, and coming in here is rude! 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 Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I'll lunge in your head. Yeah. Completely forgot about this guy. Mini boss fight. That's a gold fussy. Wow, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP one, uh, ten. Sorry, attack one, defense zero. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your P HP, which is nice. I have to wonder though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, wait, I wasn't ready. Beef! Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you look! But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Oh. Oh, no. Ah, boo. about this part oh you don't suck I thought you just didn't drain health Boo. Yeah. ah come on Yeah, I just said so, I keep forgetting. Maybe it's literally impossible for me to do action commands. Yeah, looks like it. Twenty big boys. Yeah, you got me. Now give me your pocket money. Geek, 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 got him. Yo, mail. Sounds like you got an email, Mario. You should check it out. Press plus to open your mail. You can also check your email under mailbox SP in the menu if you want. Some folks just like menus, you know? Hello Mario, working hard? Professor Frankly here in e-form. It's highly likely you'll receive mails like this one while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you. And I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankly. Oh, nice. I'm very thoughtful of him. Oh, he's got a power block. I don't think so, buddy.
Do, 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 do. Uh, you're so tempted to redeem the Psyduck, uh, the signed Psyduck. Not to actually get one, but to flex the stonks. <laughs> you totally should, to be honest. Just uh, be wary that I, um, I'm really bad with actually sending them out like straight away. So it might take me uh, a little bit. Like for example, uh, Yorn Gaming redeemed his. I don't even remember when. I still haven't sent it. Because I kind of lost my cider card some, somehow. But, uh... Yeah, good reminder. <laughs> good reminder. Please don't show up at your door at midnight while you're sleeping to four... Yeah, no, don't worry. I hate Norway, so I'm never going there. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that's like the, um... That's the only... Like, rule, I would say, is you gotta be okay with me knowing your address or your P.O. box or whatever. Uh, and you gotta have to trust me that I don't share it with other people. Ah, come on. But so far, uh, the people that have their card have not been robbed yet or broken into or assaulted or stalked so that'll be good then again nobody from them is from norway so i don't know that might change things you know uh if you pay for the cider can you get a picture of eindhoven uh sure I'll print out a really nice black and white picture of Eindhoven. Like literally the first Google result. Yo, there it is. Oops. <laughs> there it is. I'm meant to pay for shiny luck. Oof. Well, I can give you a refund. If I remember how, I think I do. Yo, RDM registration, what's that? Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering with the Rogueport Direct Mail. Your kind friend, Mr. Franklin, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. We hope you enjoy your service. Thanks. Wow! Well, appreciate you redeeming it. And thank you very much for signing up for um yeah the super delicious um totally not scam weekly uh, mail package where we definitely don't send you junk and gps trackers and everything it's uh it's mario right look i uh see the thing is i've been waiting for you uh, waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you uh see i was wondering would you oh please take me with you to fight hooktail please i'm begging you sorry about that see my dad he went off to find Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. Oh, yeah. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone is al always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can't defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go, please. Sure. You wouldn't want the Dutch government in your mailbox? I totally get that. I wouldn't want that either. For real? No kidding? Yes! 
Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Coops has joined the party. Oh yeah. A primer. Press X to send Coops flying forward in his shell. His shell can bump into things which allow him to retrieve distant items and, and activate switches. Press X to send him flying. Got it. If you hold X, you can keep him in place for a while. After keeping in place, release X to step him back and hit something behind the starting point. Mario can also move around while keeping Koops in place so he can press the switch from a distance. So remember, when you send him flying, you can hold X to keep him in one place. I've mastered it. Thank you. Oh, look how cute he is. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Oops! Oh, no. Oh? Oh, golly! Uh, hi! Hi, Koopy! Koopy Koo! Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But, you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care for all of that. I... I just want to be... I just want you to be you. Oh, <laughs> Look at her. Oh, it's adorable. So, don't go. Sorry, I've made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling with Mario and... <gasps> fine, ignore me! Aww. Stubborn Koopa! <laughs> I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, uh, Mail! Stop spamming me. Hey, Mario, still working hard? Professor Frankly here, in e-form, again. I do have more to say, as it turns out. Coom, Bella was eager to join your side, as she won't be... And she won't be the last. I'm sure you'll gain a bunch of additional partners as you explore the world and progress through your harrowing adventure. If you do, there's a quick way you can swap with partners along... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Just hold down L. Ooh, a partner ring, okay. Say you find yourself stuck in a rut, unable to progress, aimlessly and panic-stricken. Uh, first, calm down, then swap pause with the partner ring, explore a bit more and see if anything clicks into place in that noble noggin of yours. One other thing, I'm betting you usually pop into the menu by pressing plus or minus. But did you know you can actually open the menu with specific tabs using the up, down, select and right button? I literally just did that, but thanks. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's really nice. Now what's that happy heart? Yeah. Do 
Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Here beginneth the path to Dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hither the both switches simultaneously. Addendum. This challenge is easieth fast peaceeth. If you use the skill of a Petroburg Koopa. Thanks for that. Scottish. Scotland. Dang it, the Scots ruined Scotland. Great Scott. Scotland. Oh, do I need to heal? Uh, kinda. Well, there she is. First proper dungeon. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories are all true. This place is terrifying. Ah, it'll be fine. I've been here several times. Sometimes when you hear the letter U uh, in Scottish, I like when they say ground. Say it like that, right? Ground. Get down. Ground. Get down. That's a Koopa Paratrooper. Well, uh, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP 4, attack 2, and defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. Alright. Oh, that did not work. Yo, happy heart, let's go. You got him. Yeah. 
Got him. Scotland! Damn Scots ruining Scotland! You play our cards right, might even level up twice again, including Hooktail. Oh, is that power bounce? Oh, wait, no, it's not. I thought power jump, never mind. Wait, I saw that. Um. Oh no. What button did I press? Oh no. Um. There's not that many buttons um no 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 I pressed all the buttons um Uh No Where's the the control scheme? Where is that? No No Where is it? Oh no, that was a control scheme. No. Because I saw uh, a skip text button. I think I really want that. Oh. I just clicked the button. No. No. Ah, uh, boo. Oh well. Oh, he's gonna power block. Oh! No, oh, it was a good item. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He was a Mario fan. I'm so sorry. Ah! A guy just walked out as well. Cause I'm such a jerk. Oh no.
They remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It is my father. Dad! Um, wait. What's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, ugh. His bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah. Um, okay. I can do this. I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking, f croaking creatures that begin with F and end with ROG. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. I could swear it was crickets. Right? Wasn't it crickets? If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever that thing is. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue riding. Already mist feels my eyes. My last words go to my son Colorado. Oh no! It's somebody else. We know that person too. I love you and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado? Not Coops? <laughs> Oops! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Yeah. Ah, uh, poor Colorado. Nice reference. Oh yeah, this bit. Ah, oh, it's the last one, really. <laughs> you clearly don't value our lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther. And from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Oh, God. Ow, watch it, Pushy. What's with these numbskulls? They're shoving me around. What should we do? We just hammer them away. Like profesh. Ooh, it's like a murder thing. Five? Oh boy. Is this the moment we're gonna kill them all at the same time? It is, right? Well, we get like one or two turns. That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is five, attack is three, and defense is one. Unlike your average dry bo dull bones, even if you pound it, it's if you just zero and crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all of the dull bones and then attack the red bones. Oh, one more thing: once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Oh, does it? Oh, sweet. Oh, he instantly makes more. Oh, boy. Those little sounds are adorable. That's a dull bone, sort of a skeleton thing. Uh, it was a Koopa Troopa once. One, two, one. Okay. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Alright, got it. Dang it, I can't reach.
Could use this as a little XP farm, maybe. No. Yo, one did KO. Let's go. Here comes that level. Got him. Oh, an up. Uh oh. Ah. Rat. Oh, four. Oh. I don't think so. That's some good XP there. Ooh, a point swap. Swaps of parties, members, HP, and FP. Ooh. Nice. No! No, you don't. We even progress. I think we got it. Oh wait, wait! I'm a puzzle genius. I got this. Watch this. Ah, oh, missed. Of course I did. <laughs> Got it. First try. squash myself no yeah got it uh oh it's right there right Did, 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 did. Oh, a save block. Nice. I was looking for that. Uh, we're going to end it right over here. Because A, it's a really nice point to stop. And B, I'm literally falling asleep. So, there we go. Thank you very much for, blah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Next stream is probably tomorrow. Uh, same channel, same game, same everything. Hopefully earlier. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.